everybody. Got up at the crack of dawn today and uh, wanted to make a video for you about using these uh, dots or balls or exhaustion bars that we talked about yesterday and make sure that you had a link. So there's a couple things going on today. Uh, first of all, there is a link below this video, not only for these dots for TradingView and MetaTrader and soon other platforms as well. So if you want the indicator for other platforms, just go to that link and get it. But also I provided the link again for these reversal tabs or arrows. So you could have both of those because we're going to talk about both of those working together today. I might as well just use this uh, drawing tool. This works really great. So um, sometimes you'll, you'll see these exhaustion bars. These are like dojis. Remember long wicks or and small bodies of candles or in this case, like a huge engulfing candle, the body of which takes over the entirety of space and time. <laughs> anyway, but those aren't necessarily indications that the market is going to collapse. They're just early warning signs or EWS for short, early warning sign that something's going to happen. So I think if you watch for these, and then you confirm it with a reversal tab, you have a really nice combination that you sell on that reversal arrow down once you've seen these exhaustion areas. And then this is the other key to this little methodology. Maybe you take profit as in stages as you see exhaustion bars in the opposite direction. So you take half your profits here, half your profits there, and then half your profits here <laughs> for a total of 150% of profits, which is not possible. Well, let's see how that would work on this next example. So in this next example, you see these two bullish exhaustion areas. And so maybe you either start building a buy position here, or at least you start considering it, but you don't do anything until you see this bullish reversal arrow. And then you take profit in stages as you see these exhaustion candles. And then you see three more of these bad boys. Here, let's just move this chart over. Look at this. I mean, I, I really think this looks neat. You see three more here. One, two, one, two, three. And maybe on the third one, you just sell. And then you sell more here. And then you start taking profit here. And maybe you only take I've never been a big fan of taking half your profit, but maybe you trade 10 lots and then you take five off when you see this first exhaustion area. Loving it, loving it. And I think this just continues to, this continues to work. And I think in a way that you can keep your, <laughs> once again, Hey, Abraham Lincoln, you're back. <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. I think this continues to work. And the reason I think it continues to work is not just because I think it makes a profit, but because when it's lo a loss, I think there's a way to protect one's self. So let's say you see these two bullish exhaustion bars that suggest the market might go higher. And then you see this reversal arrow that points upward. You just put a stop loss right below a protective loss right below that low there. Whereas your profit target is potentially way up here and, and pretty substantial. Your stop loss is pretty tight. And let's say you see another one of those. Okay, fine. You just stop out and you, and you take a, a small stop out. You just take it and your losses are smaller than your, than your wins. I really like this idea a lot. This, uh, this is lovely. Can I just check on a trade right now? Ooh, that is delicious. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, anyway, that's just an open trade. Let's take a look at maybe, I don't know, Tesla. Been, this has been on my mind for a while. So could you do, does this translate over into stocks? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. So you get a couple of these bad boys right there. These are bullish, right? And then you get a reversal arrow and you get a buy trade, maybe a stop below here. So you buy it there and then you get a nice run. So even if your stop loss was here, this, this profit target up here, Theoretically, there's more profit available than what your stop loss is. Theoretically. 
I'm trying to I'm trying to make this work, of course. So there's a bearish exhaustion bar that suggests the market is going to go down. And there's the reversal arrow that initiates the trade. And there's the target. See, that's a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio. N not as impressive, but we're only looking at a few examples here. Let's take a look at the SPY. Could you do it? Could you do it on something like this? Oh, I love this combination, as you already know. Just absolutely love this combination. This is bullish Knoxville divergence. That's divergence. We've talked about this in the past. You can look up the videos here on YouTube. I'll try to link to one below, but I might not get to it. And then it's in combination with this bullish exhaustion bar pattern. <clears throat> Just absolutely love that. So how do I set this? What are my settings for this indicator? Well, this indicator below, I've put the link below. It's called the LELEDC exhaustion bar. And what I do in the settings here is I only show the major exhaustion bars. I don't show the minor ones. And I've also provided a link below to get the link to get this indicator for TradingView and for MetaTrader. So you'll, you'll have it for both when you request it. And then, uh, oh crap, I took it off the charts. <laughs> You know, I'm just a real genius there. Anyway, so you can have it for both of those platforms. But I'm planning on getting this built for TOS uh, and for Ninja Trader. For those of you that use those other platforms, so go ahead and put your uh, click that link below and put your information in, and then I'll make sure that when it's ready, I'll get you a copy of that uh, of that indicator. Thanks so much for joining me for this little discussion about exhaustion bars. I love price action, and for the next you know, foreseeable future, I want to look more at price action and focus more on price action because I think it's simpler. I think it's cleaner. I think it's a better way to trade with fewer moving parts in a much simpler way. So I'm going to jump outside, turn these lights off and uh, get back on the road. Bye for now, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and all those good things.